In Excel, it's very simple to add a new column to a table. Chances are that you would not add data to a cell that is adjacent to a table if it wasn't going to be part of the table. Excel knows this and therefore has made adding new columns and rows to a table a very efficient task. Enter data into a cell directly to the right of your table. When you press enter, Excel will automatically add a new column to your table. The new column will have all the same formatting and the column header will have a generic title such as column 1 or column 2. Similarly, you can add new rows to your Excel table by simply entering in data in a row directly below the very last row in your Excel table. Another way to add columns and rows to your table is to use the resize handle which is located on the very bottom right corner of your table. Simply click on this handle and drag it to the right to add more columns and down to add more rows. You can also use this handle to make your table smaller. Simply click on the handle and drag it to the left to remove columns and up to remove rows. When you do this, the table formatting will be removed but the contextual data will still remain. Another way to insert columns and rows to an Excel table is to use the shortcut menu. Step 1. Select a cell within the table, right click and a shortcut menu will appear. Step 2. From the shortcut menu, select Insert and a new menu will appear offering you options to insert table columns to the left, table columns to the right, table rows above, and table rows below. These available options depend on what cell you are working on. For example, table column to the right will only be available if you are working in the last column and table row below will only be available if you are working in the last row of the table. Step 3. Select and click your option and your new table column or row will be entered. How to delete table rows and columns. To delete table rows or columns, select the column letter or row numbers you want to delete. Right click and from the shortcut menu click delete. 